So I'm playing with a fellow clanmate here, Iron Dukes. Say hi. Hello. I think that your audio is yeah. on the that thing. Could Yeah, there we go. Your audio's in. Cool. Um, are you ready to head back out? All repaired? Yeah, let's do it. We're uh, just hunting some AIs around Pittstown. Um, and uh, should be good. I'm going to very quickly just bump a thing here. Cool. Let's see. There are three things to choose from on the menu right around us, aren't there? There's a British fleet with a large and a medium. That would be a pretty good challenge. Hey, steady on. Steady on. <laughs> There's a British fleet with a, <laughs> some cavalry. Maybe should we go for the small one <laughs> to the right? Oh yeah, an Essex and a small. The Essex, yeah, I think I think that's more our level. We're 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 more, preying more on the weak, level. right? We're we're. Uh, yeah, of course. Helping... Yeah, we're pirates, that's what we do. Oh, I, I thought we were like, you know, uh, cheetahs culling herds of zebras. I thought that was how that went. No, no, I think we're more... Uh, ducks chasing bread. <laughs> well, you see, this way the, the next generation of ships will be uh, stronger, because we've culled the weak ones. Exactly, exactly. Alright. Making our way there. You can see the little battle group indicator there. That's Iron Dukes behind me. And uh, hopefully none of these other AI fleets will get pulled into it. So that's the worry. Is that a British fleet as well on the back? Uh, just yeah, uh, to windward? That one there? Uh, no, the one, the one we're going after. Oh, the one we're going after? Yeah, they're all British. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. We'll Make your peace with that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I made my choice a long time ago. <laughs> the drink helps, it's okay. Alright, can't join battles for four seconds. I'm almost up yeah. there at the Essex. Um, I want to wait till you get in. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna, you know, menacingly sail up alongside. Yeah, of course, let him know what's coming. Say hi. It's like we're having a gam. <laughs> I've been uh, in the middle of rereading Moby Dick right now. Uh, just got to the part where they uh, have a gam with the Dutch or German um, whale ship, and uh, then sight whales, and the two try to like race and compete to to actually get the whale first. So <laughs> it's an exciting bit, even though. The book is a wonderful discussion of why whaling is horrific. Um, it's actually really striking, I think, how... Are you there? Can I click attack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm struggling to get in. Oh, Come on. I've got copper plating on this thing, which helps a bit. So. What the hell? I'll tie it up a bit. you what? No, go on, Oh, yeah. I'm in, I'm in. All right, that is a good position. Yeah, you couldn't have got any closer if you tried. Uh, I just there. seen me. You haven't loaded yet, but they've got an Essex and a brig, and their Essex is a little bit abaft, and their brig is a bit ahead, and I am probably just going to... Oh, it's given me that stupid bloody circle thing where I have to sail on a bit. Oh, Two seconds. okay. Why does that? Well, you'll be here soon enough. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you'll be all right. <laughs> I'm not really. I'm not really worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make do somehow. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let's hold off from reloading our larboard cannons because no one's over there. Um. Uh, Dukes, just for context, I've been talking a bit about the switch from port to larboard or from larboard to port in Royal Navy terminology. Um, apparently in the 1850s they actually realized that larboard sounded too much like starboard. Yeah. Took them long enough. 
Alright. It's tradition, isn't it? Even if it's wrong, it doesn't matter. It's, 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 it's tradition. <laughs> Let's go take one of the new guys coming in and go, this, this, this is ridiculous. Alright, where the devil did the Essex go? <laughs> oh, there's the Essex. <laughs> oh, and there you are. Yeah, Brilliant. balls away. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, their balls are pretty much bouncing okay, off. I'll be, there, I'll be there in about an hour or so, man. Don't worry about it. Not super worried. Think you can hold your hold out? I would say most of that hit. I completely destroyed the stern armor on the Essex and a little bit of the port armor. Now they're trying to sail into me and my goal is to just, well, trust that they'll straighten out maybe? No, they're gonna try and stern rake me. I'm coming, man. There's Dukes over there. Slowly but surely, I'm coming. Alright. Let's try and get as tight a turn as we can here. When I get there, I'll swing around the back end here. We'll give you sure a thing, of sure protection. thing. Almost done reloading this broadside. It may well be knife ball by the time I get there, though. So. <laughs> we'll make do. We'll make do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got two more bottom deck mediums to finish reloading. Just sending off a few shots from my bow chasers. Let's get into this. Oh man. Oh man. Don't don't lose my bowsprit. <laughs> well, come on. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna. This bowsprit's sturdy. Are you okay? Right. Yeah, I'm just engaged in one of those, you know, loving embraces that ships Could, do once in a while. Couldn't you just go over the top of them in that ship? <laughs> you know, I feel like it just should be much more possible to just <laughs> capsize them in situations like that. And that was a few stern rakes in there, some mast damage. Overall, I think nice. it worked out. Let's get off our top broadside on them, do a little damage. Alright, I'm gonna stay on the Essex if you want to deal with that brig as it comes your way. Yeah. Okay. I'm not too concerned about it, most of its shots can't can't do much to me. Yeah, give me a better approach angle so I'll give you some more wind missiles. Yeah. Oh, I should be reloading this side. I was reloading the wrong broadside. Well done, well done. I am the best of captains. <laughs> hey, I will not have that eye in the west of Captain. Ah, Long John Silver says hi. I'm uh, paying a bit less attention to chat, what with voice chat going on here, but <laughs> hello, Long John Silver. I've seen you uh, talking in the nation chat a few times. If you want to come up this way and join us in Pittstown, feel free. This is one of those just sail alongside and ignore their cannons for a bit. This is also when it's a great idea to use a locked sector focus because then all of my shots will go pretty much perpendicular, yeah, perpendicular into their hull, effectively hitting less armor. So that's fun. Try and maintain parallel course. Oh, almost all of that went over. Hit a wave and just rolled. <laughs> I can see it. I can see it just shooting up in the distance. Yeah, it's too bad. <laughs> That's okay. Come on, bloody seven knots. Jesus. Where are you? Oh, you're behind us. I'm, yeah, I'm miles away. I'm coming. I'm coming. Mevies. Yeah, just keep an eye out for. Stern shot on that. Oh no, the Essex is starting to wear down my side armor. This could end up being really? expensive. Yeah, I'm close enough that their penetration is. Uh... Oh, I didn't even think I'd be able to affect you. No, no, no. Their their cannons aren't that light. I'm about halfway through on my uh, starboard armor. 
It's okay, though. If this broadside hits as I intend, we should be pretty okay. Mmm. A lot of it still went over. Alright. Gonna have to. I was given two indefabulous, and I think I picked the really the tanky one rather than the fast one. Oh yeah. It doesn't it doesn't seem to be picking up any sort of speed whatsoever. How many uh knots are you making? Moment, 7.6. Yeah, we're great. going at about not 10, great. so you might actually not get there. I'm going to start to engage in some maneuvers to try and slow those folks down. Yeah. Let you catch up. I don't up. know why it's going so slow, actually. I'll try to pull in the wind, see if that gives me... Then it's, it's a way a bit, so it's a bit sort of counterproductive. Well, the Indefatigable's best points of sail are going to be on a broad reach. And we had you on uh, more or less running with the wind, and we were just making a bit more. Yeah, that's picking up a bit now, but I'll do. I'll go. I'll go with the wind for a bit, and then I'll turn it. Do it. Sending my sailors running across the decks again, trying to reload that top deck. At the very least, I can get this off. Damage the rudder. That's what I like to see. Nice. You know what, mate? It's, it's a difference between point two and not. I'll just turn it. What is? The difference between going with the wind and the turn and slightly right of it. Yeah. 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 So I'll just turn it. <coughs> come on, come on. Load those broadsides. I'm trying to expose my port now, since they wore down some of my starboard armor. Oh, it's actually picking up now. It's picking up up to eight knots. Oh, good, good, good. I might even get there before the battle's over. I think you will. Great, we're going. No leave some for me. And have to cut my staysails so I can get this down a little bit more. Hopes of actually hitting their hull a bit. Yeah, that's okay. 17 hull hits. Pretty much just breezed through the uh, rig. Which I now want to do my best to sink. Ah, uh, that was only 11 hits. Cut off their rudder, too, so... That's something. Long John Silver saying you can sink uh, more easily if you generate leaks in a broadside. Yeah, I'm aware it's hard for me to get the, um... the angle, uh, my shots on this low enough. Because the gun decks are relatively high um, compared to the uh, brig at least. Yeah, the Essex is pretty low in the water too. Alright. Straighten out. Not really up for going into the wind. Where are you at? Have I totally lost sight of you? Oh, there you are. I'll try to herd them a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so I'm shooting upwind right now, so I really do want to cut my staysails and maybe even make less sail just to try to reduce my heel down to zero degrees. That's good. Damn it. Oh, I'm taking hits. Anyways, I must be getting close. Oh, good. Alright. 
My sailors must hate me for the amount of time I s tell them to climb up in the rigging during a battle. <laughs> Just like... Get down there, they get three, they get three meals a day, grog. Yeah. Do as they're told. They can go back to land and have one meal a day. <laughs> make more sail, make less sail. Constantly, just tell them to go back and forth between those. Alright, these two are like right up on me, and you're almost here, so that's good. Coming, coming. So slow, mm. so goddamn slow. Gotta loosen my shoulders. The West Remote, there was no room for me to put me in that circle where across from you. I was right next to you when you went in. Hmm. I don't fully the know screw, the how. Screw just Big time. I don't fully know how it decides where to plop you into a battle. Yeah. I don't know whether you'd gone in before I'd... Because I clicked attack when you were still there, but whether you had gone in already and the ship was just still there after you'd loaded in. Well, that was... God, yeah, that's a lot of cannon. That's a lot of cannon going off there. <laughs> that was pretty Attended. effective. Oh, was that all you? Oh, yeah. That uh, was me firing into the brig and the Essex <laughs> simultaneously. I'm not sure which I hit. I don't, it doesn't matter. I think you got the message. <laughs> the Essex is not doing great, but I'm having a harder time uh, reliably hitting the brig. It's I'll go, I'll go get yeah, the brig it's below my arc of fire in a lot of cases. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Cutting the staysails to both slow down and... Which way are you going? Are you going to start the turn or you should keep going? Sorry? Oh, uh, you're right there. The uh, no, or... you, you go ahead. Right, okay. You are upwind. Take priority. I can actually just do another... Well, I can do another wear fast. and uh, get another shot on them once I've fully reloaded things. The lag between clicking, hearing the order to fire, firing, and hitting them can be impressive sometimes. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna turn left and get out Yeah, please. Uh, I'm trying to engage the Essex. Um, yeah, I'll come up by sails. Come on, sails, come around behind you. Yeah, do what you need to on the uh, on the brig, Caesar Ellis. Yeah. What flag are they flying? Oh, more Brits, right. <laughs> Forgot that for a moment. Breaks, breaks my goddamn high every time. So it goes, so it goes. <laughs> You're gonna cut the ties, what are you gonna do? You're gonna cut the ties. Screw the king. Assuming that this is the 18 teens, you know. Is it a king? Is it? Oh, God, no, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a queen. <laughs> no, no, 18 teens? It's George III when he is completely oh, mad. It's, uh, it's the Regency, right? <laughs> the English guy just knows history. <laughs> <laughs> no, Regency's my period. That's, that's what a lot of my studying and that. reading is. <laughs> That could have been embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, obviously, like, the geopolitics of the game or whatever, right? But... <laughs> Let's... Uh, a lot of that broadside went past them. Still, their rudder's damaged again, which is always a fun time. It's an important hit, isn't it? Right yeah. Up. My pump's uh, not totally happy. Oh well. So yeah, this ship of the line is is kind of fun. <laughs> um, I managed to lose a Wappen von Hamburg that uh, Shackle gave me um, in a battle against a bunch of Prussians, though. So you know. Facing off against actual human captains is still another matter. Oh, it's completely different, isn't it? It's, uh, There's a... I, I, I literally got my, um, 
in, in, in like, no, I've got my uh, frigate. And some guy just sat behind me in a tiny, a little tiny little boat, and he just sat behind me, smashed me, there's nothing I could do. I was swinging my boat left, right, and center, there's nothing I could do. I mean, at one <laughs> level, I think it's actually really interesting to have, like, um, yeah, those shots went right through their rigging. Um, I think it's really interesting to have, uh, The, the sort of strategic thinking element of it, like um, being lured into a situation and being like tricked into like, you know, engaging somewhere where you shouldn't is fascinating. Yeah, yeah. I think that, yeah. or, you know, being able to do that to a human captain. Just generally being like, um, can I get this low enough? Oh, come on, come on. Well, the reason, the reason I play this over World of Warships is in this, you've got, you can have, you get into being in a fleet of bigger ships, so it, it makes it makes the combat different. Whereas World of Warships, all the ships are matched. Right, right. For every other, for every battleship, you've got a battleship of the same or slightly or one or two tiers next to it. So when you've got a battleship, you never feel like you're in a battleship. You, you're always countered by another battleship. Whereas in this, you, sometimes you get into fights and you're in a battleship. And you'll be in a fight against something smaller. Mm -hmm. In any end, literally in World Warships, it's pointless. Once you get that new ship, you just are usually outmatched by the better ship above you. I mean, for me, a lot of it is just Age of Sail is more interesting to me than, you know, oh, yeah, fuel. Definitely. But, yeah. but uh, I think that is an interesting point, the way that, like, you know... Uh, the inequalities are themselves an interesting part of it. Yeah. So. Alright. I have destroyed the Essex. As in, nice. it has no more structure, but it hasn't actually sunk yet. I'll oh, work on this guy. Um, I am now engaged in the difficult process of trying to get up close to it. <laughs> hey, it has officially sunk. It's done. It's done. Um, I'm just gonna send some ball his way and see if it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, just short, sure, just short. Sure. That was purely aspirational. It, well, it wasn't that far off, though, to be fair, mate. Oh, lucky guess. All oh, right, now for the very exciting part of the battle where I inch towards a sunken ship to try and loot its hold. Let me watch what y'all are doing. Isn't there a point where you can't loot? If they go fully underwater, can you loot? I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure. Because right, I've had that a couple of times where I haven't been able to get him, but I didn't know it was just because I wasn't at the right angle. Yeah, it can be hard to tell. Yeah. There's that brig. Pretty beat up. There's you, pretty completely fine. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kick his ass in a bit, don't worry. I'm waiting for your broadside. He's Ooh. got it coming. I should actually maybe stop and loot while I'm here. Trim by the stern, trim speed. Awesome. That is a pair of books that I already have, so I can give them as gifts. I don't think that they're used in any crafting. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That broadside looks like it's doing its job. Yeah, it did, it did. That was half. That was half decent. I'm gonna try and repair my pump just because why not? Maybe repair some side armor. Don't need anyone on the guns right now. So, looking out from the bow, I'm going to move over to a bit of a broad reach, try and get there as rapidly as I can, just to add some, you know, additional, additional effort. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really concerned with speed, generally. Um, 
So like I put copper plating on this, I'm gonna put trim uh, for speed on it, if I can. I think I only have the sixth rate version of it. Oh well. Um, but I just, I really like uh, going fast ever since I had this experience where I outran some Swedes while I was in an unarmed merchant ship. And I was like, okay, now I think speed is crucial. How are they doing? Oh, you've got them. Yeah. Got myself in a stupid situation. Uh, yeah, you look like you're a little bit in irons. Yeah. I'm gonna turn around and get him. Yeah. What, how are you in irons? The wind's coming from the other side. You look like you're. Well, that's stupid. My stupid fault. <clears throat> Press the wrong, the wrong way. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. It's hard to see which direction your pennants are going from uh, yeah, in yeah. the in the uh, spyglass. But yeah, I guess you're with the wind. All right. Men working on repair. My starboard took a beating. My stern took a bit of one, too. It was a slightly more expensive battle than expected. I am going to hold off okay. on this broadside, because I don't want to hit you on the far side of Caesar Ellis. I think that would be impolite. Oh, you are right up in there. That's what he gets. <laughs> Making me look stupid going the wrong way. Son of a bitch. Alright. So. <coughs> not turning. Is it? No, yeah, yeah. It's probably turning my way a little bit. I'm trying to do that slow turn thing that they do. <laughs> I'm trying to get behind you, and it never works. <laughs> oh, I see. There you go, have that. Have a heavy bit. Come on. He's, he's got one little tiny bit of health left. Let's give it up. Give it up, bro. Give it up and give me a cargo. Don't be a dick. Ooh, sorry, I hit your stern. See? See? That's all I don't worry about. But yeah. <laughs> Zero armor on any side. I think I think we got this. You're still fire. Hmm? The guy's got some fingers. Guy's got swing is he still firing? Come on. What are you gonna do when you're sinking, right? Like, you may as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you got, I suppose you gotta fight. Fight or die. I, I mean, at the point at the point where you're lost, there's no amount of crew you can move on to repair and survival that'll actually help, right? So. Come on, sink. You know what he's gonna do? He's gonna move just out of way, and have to mess him up myself. <laughs> gonna be a proper douchebag. <clears throat> All right. Come on, just go. <laughs> He's got nothing left. <laughs> and oh, there you go. Done. Done. Yeah. You're in position to loot. He got? Oh, got nothing. We're gonna have our piracy. Uh, mate, he's got nothing. We're still practically within sight of Pittstown. This has been ridiculous. All right. <laughs> Do you want to just hop back to town and yeah, get yeah. our repairs? <laughs> I'm running low on scotch. And that, right there, is the end of it. I'm so close to level up. I'm about halfway through Demon right now, so it's going to take me a bit. Nice. So cool, awesome Demon. I still haven't passed the final exam. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I give up on that. I just give up on it. It's too hard. Too goddamn hard. I'm, I'm not going to give up on it. I'm going to come back around to it, but I'm not there yet. You know? Like, I'm so used to using oh, whatever my ship's advantages are and sort of yeah, relying yeah. on that and not just relying on my gunnery, which is shit. <laughs> so. It's more realistic like that. 
your ship would have better characteristics, so it's it's not a fair test. Yeah. It's not fair that it makes me happy as shit. I don't think that's I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> do the smart thing and keep the scotch on a side table that's slightly lower so I don't spill any of it on the computer. Yes, yes. Don't, don't ever spill that. It's, it's a travesty. I mean, yeah, spilling it at all is a travesty, but yeah. extra so screwing up your electronics. <laughs> what scotch is it? It's a Kalila. Kalila? One of my favorites. Um, nice. Oh, you're not watching the stream. I just showed the camera for... Well, I guess there are people <laughs> watching the stream, so that's alright then. Oh uh, yeah, they'll see. They'll yeah. see. I, uh, I think it tastes like a campfire the morning after you've made the campfire and it's rained in the night. It's a very, like, comforting feeling to me. Well, that's very precise. I've, I've given it some thought. <laughs> Anything that tastes like a campfire is tastes amazing for me. <laughs> I'm happy with that. They're literally the best smell in the world is barbecue. Yeah, it's so wonderful. Literally the best smell in the world. Alright, coming into Pittstown. Let's see how many crew I lost. <laughs> I lost four crew. Twenty-seven. Most of them probably mutinied. <laughs> it's a risk. It's a risk. And Pairs are not totally cheap, but good enough. Still coming out, you know, net positive, so it's all right. Uh, about halfway to unlocking the next knowledge on this. Let me try something else here. Reduced reload time. Reduced crew required. Reduced dispersal. That's good. Reduced dispersal and mast hit points. That's weird. I'm gonna try being a little bit slower to turn, but being a little bit heavier hitting. These are also gonna improve my reload time and my dispersion, or at least fire zone. So that's good. So, as you can see, I've been accumulating some stacks of Sumatran pepper here. That's to go and trade down in uh, Mortimer Town someday. A sealed bottle, so I'll be hunting for a shipwreck, but I probably won't do that on stream. I don't know. Shipwrecks are great, though. They're just full of resources. Often hard to get resources, like this Guacata Saltpeter. Guacata. Um, which you can use to make really effective uh, upgrades. So I'm working on that somewhere here under craft. Manufacture. Oh, I don't know how to make it yet. Um, modules. Wakata saltpeter. Here we go. Wakata superior gunpowder note. So all I need is coal and treatises on making saltpeter. I can make something that gives you 7% penetration bonus, which is great. Um, also, trying to get 100 combat marks because I want to build uh, a friend a ship that requires me to spend some, so I'm going to hold off on getting the superior gunpowder note because that's also 100 combat marks and I don't have any of the treatises yet, so it's not a worry. Get the basic. That's only 3%. Nah. If you're gonna spend the Guacata Saltpeter, go for the Superior, right? Any chat in clan or nation? Nah, people are quiet. There's nobody there, is there? Mm. You're back, I see. I was just I chatting am, to am. the stream. Um, yeah, sorry, man. That's fine, that's fine. We've barely gotten out of harbor, and we keep hunting Brits. So if you want to keep up with that, I am all for it. Uh, Fine by me. Just there shouldn't be. Here. It's a bloody pirate port. 
yeah, looking on the map here, or around Pittstown, the nearest British ports are on the far side of Cuba and down in Jamaica. So, yeah. Wait. Think, where do you want to head out? Uh, um, for well, I think we're not in a bad place. It might be worth heading down towards the Cuban coast a little bit. Yeah, um, I went up north to where George's town is, and you can't repair anywhere in a decent sized ship because it's all shallow water. Yeah, uh, it's pointless going up there. I mean, that's the Bahamas, right? <laughs> it's all shallow water. Like, it's yeah. really hard to get around here in a in a big ship. But yeah. this part of it, at least, down near Crooked, is okay. Um, Marijuana is a shallow port. Atwood is deep. Pitts is deep. Salinas shallow. All right. So Inagua, Marijuana, and Atwood. No, uh, Inagua, Atwood, and Pitts are kind of your only deep water ports down here. Yeah. Well, it's made for, or it it forces you to to do different things. Uh, yeah, I would be happy to try and head down towards Cuba and just hunt whatever we see. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Alright, let's do it. Right, I'll, come, I'll come out now. Loading screens, loading screens. Aw, oh, aw, oh, come on. Come on. There's there's a Spanish trader snow right out here. <laughs> that would be rude not to, I suppose. <laughs> Might have something good. It would be rude not to. The pirate's motto. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, well. It's almost like he wants to be raided. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Who, who trades with pirates? Who trades with pirates? What the hell? But yeah. I mean. Let's, uh. Let's maybe try and navigate upwind of him, because. Yeah. That's a lot easier in the open world. So I'm gonna just slowly chug around. Just swing around yeah. I mean, the AI is. He's got, he's got a turn in the town, though, isn't he? That's no, I think he's just left. But the, oh, the AI is is always very uh, dumb yeah. about sailing into the wind. So one of these days <laughs> we'll get like further than just directly in the harbor. It's so juicy here, though. Targets everywhere. It's it's kind of ridiculous. They start, they start dangling these bloody traders in front of us. All right. Well, we're pirates. <clears throat> Our only goal is to get rich. If they keep giving us ships to raid outside, then there's no point going outside. All right. <laughs> we're just standing. We're just sitting and rich. I think I'm gonna start the attack now. Yeah, go on. Because in about ten seconds, I will just be past him. Awesome. Had a little lag, hopped forward. There we go. And I left myself facing into the wind like an idiot, so that's good. <laughs> very wise, Captain. Very wise. I'm going to have to do the make full sail. Turn around. <coughs> back out, you know. I'll try and hit on a way past, but depends on how fast my gun's reloading. Yeah. I'm tempted to take the prepared perk. I'm starting to see its use. Yeah. Uh, my guys are lazy. It takes them like 10 minutes to get the guns ready. I've been emphasizing... They're getting, you know what? They're getting 50% they're getting grunt. No, they're all just pissed. <laughs> I've... Stumble about trying to reload the fucking guns. It's ridiculous. What I was saying when you'd stepped away uh, on the stream was I've been emphasizing some perks that um, uh, improve reload time and... Uh, improve uh, penetration and reduce dispersal and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I've really been trying to do my best to to tighten up my my gunnery, but prepared, I think, is the next step. But it's like, what? It's 50 or 100 combat marks to reset your perks, so... Yeah, that's harsh. Yeah. It's... I understand, right? Like, you don't want to have people just trading out their perks yeah, every course, instant. Yeah, yeah. Hey! Hey! Is that he on? See what he just did? It's gonna be a full broadside. Cheeky bastard. And it, uh, looks like it did precisely nothing to you, so... <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, it's, uh, it's a bloody principle. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> I've, I haven't fired on him yet. Well, I think that the, the general uh, rule... The gentleman is fucking 
gentleman's code. I think the general rule was that a uh, a ship of the line wouldn't fire on a, a frigate unless or until the frigate fired on the ship of the line, right? So it's kind yeah. of the same thing. They fired on you, and now, even though we initiated the combat, he he, he didn't know I was going to fire him. <laughs> Just because I'm in here doesn't mean I'm going to kick his ass. We're still in harbor. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> we are, literally, we are the worst ships to be in harbor. We shouldn't be here. I know. I'm actually going to put some chain in my uh, two, two ships of line to make the shallow waters. Ship of the line and one that may as well be. Unstuck. Yeah, we're lucky we haven't become unstuck. That was very close a couple of times. Oh, yeah? All right, Leoncio Peterson. Look, 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 my, look at my masterful skill pull me over. <laughs> now, let's make the sailors run over and load the other guns while these are coming to bear. Slowly but slowly, we drive them Change into the bay. Up. At least we have the weather gauge. That's that's a nice. No, often <laughs> I say at least, as though we also didn't massively, massively outrate them. <laughs> oh well. You say that, but look, look at my bloody paint. Your what? My paint on my ship, he scuffed that. Oh. Something chronic. Oh well, that's terrible. I'm angry now. Very angry now. Jesus. Come on, I've come from the Royal Navy. You, you can't be scuffing people's ships. Oh Jesus. my god, that's the worst broadside. Did you see that? It landed like a full terrible. cable length behind them. Oh. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. Uh, somehow, somehow I think we will. I don't, I don't think he's going to win this. <laughs> I, I can afford some sloppy broadsides. I just pride yeah, myself, you know. One, one or two. <laughs> One or two broadsides. All right, let's bring. You know, you don't want to look foolish. Wow, I I swapped out trim by the stern for uh, instruction canonier or whatever, and I can like I can feel my turn speed is slower. It's terrible. <laughs> and that chain shot missed. another broadside completely wasted. It looks like he's hitting on the sails, but that lost nothing. Yeah, your sails are at 100, but he might have just yeah. gotten like a... I've got massive holes in the front of my sails, but... Oh, that's your spritzel. It's not going to make much of a difference. Yeah. I don't think. Uh, How are your jibs? I can't uh, see look, them. Look. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah. Let's straighten this out. So, is that the game you want to play? You want to play the long game? You son of a bitch. Alright. You trying to put some of these sails out? My chain shot are not going to be useful. <laughs> Did you say you could put somebody's sail out with that? Yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I think I can get it. It's all fun and games till somebody loses a sail? <laughs> I think, I think, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. I think, but the problem is it's me aiming it. I think I'm going to stop one. trying oh, to make these long distance shots on a small up. target. <laughs> oh good, we're, we're allowed to leave the battle right now. That's nice to know. Yeah, it's probably the best guy because he's going to kick our ass. He's too fast. He's too fast to nibble. He's too fast to furious. I mean, even if this... Even if they end up, like, stuck on that sandbar there, we can just sit out in deeper water and shell them. Like, I'm not worried even about that. Even though I think that they are making for the shore as best they can. See, he did that last time, didn't he? That turned off the last minute. Yeah. I want to get it. I want to get it. 
I don't know. The AI is weird. <clears throat> Doesn't make full sense. God, God damn it, my aim is terrible. <laughs> it's a surprisingly that's small target. A, that's twice I've managed to shoot either side of the sails. <laughs> you firing your bad chasers? No wonder he's, no wonder he's confident. Without shooting, he probably thinks he can win this. Man, a ship of the line like this, just, ah. Oh. I'm looking at my my uh, bow as I make my way towards it, and it's just a gorgeous view. All that sail. It's nice, bloody looking as well. That's a that's a proper ship. Yeah. I like my ship, but that's a proper ship. Oh, the Indefatigable is great. I want, I want one of those. I want one of those though. So. That's why I got the Indiaman, not the Indiaman. Um, the Ingerman then? That's the one. Mm. I got that because it was a double decker, but it's it's only like a like a half double decker. It's not like a proper third rate. Yeah, yeah. It's got it's got the guns, but it's not as good. The um the Ingermanland is pretty appealing, though. I haven't <coughs> tried it out, but it looks yeah. pretty nice. I liked it. I actually really liked it. it. It felt it felt better than the frigate. It felt like it was more maneuverable than the frigate. Had. It was a to be fair, it was a standard built frigate. It was terrible. But it felt better than that, more maneuverable, <laughs> and uh, twice the cannons. So, so uh, this friend who started, it was, uh, it was like a step up. Who started playing recently? I gave him a uh, navy brig that I found, and it's just weirdly fast. Like he's been outpacing yeah. me on the open world all the time. It's just been like zipping around. It's great. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, coming in. Oh. Ah, yes. Yes, I hit him. Oh, there we go. Now I've got his bridge. Have some of that. Yep. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, uh, yeah, that was a few good hits. 32 hull hits. Nice. Shock times two, crew and reload shock. <laughs> Let's just keep this course for a bit while they sail into the shallows. Oh! Just yeah. narrowly skirted some uh, sandbar uh, upwind of me. What? What? No. No. You're not allowed to turn. That's wrong. That's bad. Turning is for closers. Yes. to tack amid shallow waters. Let's see if I can pull this off. Oh, I'm skirting shallows. Sort of shallows that make me deeply uncomfortable. See what I did there? It was a bad pun. What I really don't like is being taken back into the shallows. Uh. All right. Look at that. Look where he is now. <laughs> what a doyle. Right in between us. <laughs> but into the wind so we can't do much about it. <laughs> Oh, the guy's brilliant. There we go. Took out three cannon in that, too. Nice. I'm actually gonna just make a very bad choice, I think. And try to slow myself here. Enough to get off one more broadside, maybe. Just get some rudder spin. I only got two hits.
There we go. All right. One of these days, one of these days, we're going to get further out of pit. <laughs> so you keep saying that, but I don't think I know, that. right? <laughs> All right. Let's actually make some sail and move this giant heavy thing. Perilously. Oh no, they're in shallows. I'm not even going to try to loot them. We're done. Let's not wreck a ship of the line for looting us now. Got a lee shore, which is not the best situation for maneuverability anyway. <laughs> oh, he's gone. He's yep. Gone. All right. Steve, I can get anything off him. Oh, if you want, feel free. But he's in the shallows, yeah, so I can't. Steve, I can get anything off him. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know if I can actually. Yeah, it's risky at best. Yeah. Same right. <laughs> the eternal pirate question. Someone in Nation Chat says, "MT clear." What? What? We always want to know. How can you even answer that? Yeah. <laughs> we always want to know, and the answer is always no. There are pressures. That's pressions. how you answer that. It could be, it could be pointless. <laughs> Some guy texted me earlier the other day. He was like, "Oh, I'm completely lost. Uh, where are you?" By the time I got his message, I was in Pittstown. I don't think he was anywhere near me. <laughs> so I have my information was useless to him. I had to apologize and say in the chat room. <laughs> uh, Chairman Brezhnev, you ask, "Am I near CS?" Uh, What's CS? Where is that? Do you mean... I don't know. I don't know what town you might meet mean. Well, answer me in chat and, uh, and we'll talk. Uh, we're over near Pitts, so I don't know where CS is. Oh, I just ran into the jetty like a boss. Some new crew. Ah, oh, wonderful. Brezhnev is going to come and join us. That's nice. great. I got some sugar out of that. Oh, for trade or for turning into rum? Uh, come on. Oh, wait a minute. It's for rum, obviously. Clearly. Bloody trade. Clearly. I can't get pissed on sugar, can I? It would be difficult. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way though. Is that a toilet one? Alright. Oh, I got trim speed for four to fifth rates. Gonna use that. Trim by the stern, which I already have. Gonna give that as a gift to someone. Uh, Brezhnev. No, I don't know. It's fair. Uh. Are they a, a streaming pirate? Is that the thing? All right, let's see. Uh, repaired this pretty easily. I want to look at perks real quick. I have full five, but... Um, area control is nice. Hold optimization is real useful for all the hauling I'm doing lately. I could maybe sacrifice trimming expert, but I don't recall how much uh, prepared costs. What's a perk reset permit? 50 combat marks. Can't spend that yet. But I am gonna get those oh, Prince de Neufchatel permits. I can permits. sell my levers over there. Uh -huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh no, no, that's fine. It's fine. I'm. Yes, two hundred and seventeen grand. Yeah. Did you? No, so two hundred and sixty-eight grand. Did you loot those off of the yes. Spanish snow? Yes. Is that what you got from them? No, no, it's the ones that bought. Oh, it's the ones you got. The ones that bought, <laughs> I got screwed over. Right, right, right. Yes, victory, winning much. God, I have to say, one of the things I really do like about this game is that the, like, economy, you know, uh, changes, right? That, that the prices, uh, the good, the prices of goods, uh, go up and down. Wow. Well, the, the, the sugar I got was terrible. Uh, <laughs> it was, uh, 700 quid. Yeah. 
seven or seven, seven, it was 17 grand, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah, sugar, so sugar's really for making rum, though. I don't even know what they were, but they were pretty expensive. Leave? Stole pretty well as well. They, they're coins. Leave? Leave? Is it leave? Leave? Si on parle français. <laughs> no idea what that is. They're coins. Is that what yeah. it is? I remember they were expensive when I went and bought them, and then I got robbed, and I've just sold a few there, and I've made so, half my money back. So you know the L, the fancy L that denotes yeah. a pound? Oh, is that, is that it's the same. Is that it's the same thing. It's from Latin Librum. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for crafting f food supplies. Don't have enough fish meat. Never mind. All right. Well then, I am gonna go right back into the harbor and uh, keep an eye out for what there is to hunt. So. This has been one of the most ridiculous uh, hunting expeditions in a while, but... Oh, nope, nope, there's something on the horizon. What is it? That's a third rate, a large, and a medium. Don't want to touch that yet. If we prey on the, the sick and the weak, that's not going to do it. There's also a bell pool and a medium and three small. They would outnumber us, yes. but we could maybe do it. I've just sold all the stuff I had. All their bloody coins. Oh, lovely. I made 400,000. Can, can we talk for a moment about how absurd it is that the currency in the game is gold, and gold is also a different resource, and you can also get doubloons and leave and stuff like that? Yeah. Like, well, I didn't even know what that was. Just, but I bought it, and I sold <laughs> it, and I've made a flight profit. <laughs> Isn't that what trading's about, making a slight profit? I mean, I probably spent twice as much buying it, to be fair, but still. You know, do, do what you can to buy and sell in uh, Deadman's Key just to give it some tax revenue. Yeah. That's... Well, the, I bought them to go up to George's town because uh -huh. uh, I got told by um, Skagol, it was called, to do that. And then when I got I got after up there and got raped. In George's? By that guy. Yeah, oh, you, up, yeah, you mean got ganked by got someone? Attacked. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Ooh, taxes in George's are only 8%? Huh. FP wants us to trade there, I guess. Yeah, I think that was the thing. We were trying to build up the trade. There. The taxes are only 8% in Watling, too. That's good to know. Should we get another guy? Another guy coming? Uh, yeah, uh, Brezhnev. Who I don't otherwise know, but... Maybe Brezhnev will ping us in chat or something. I'm gonna just open nation chat and see. Ah. <clears throat> ready, ready to go on if you are. Uh, Apparently, Mortimer Town is clear for the first time ever. But that's what we get for having such a low population on the server right now. <laughs> yeah. You get there and suddenly we have a population spike and you get hit. Sorry, what's that? You get in Mortimer Town and get a population spike and get hit. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I take advantage of the fact that most people are in... Uh, you know, GMT or GMT plus one or something to... <laughs> Is that my time? Yeah. 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 I'm uh, headed out a bit. Do you want to... Uh, I'm actually going to... Yeah, I'm heading out. Yeah. All right. going to reef my sail and sit here and wait for you. Keep an eye on that French oh, bell pool. I can't pool. believe how much money I made there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, money... Should, we've just sat there as well. I've never ever been in this before. <sighs> So I think that the prices for goods only update on server maintenance, if I'm correct. Ah, right. Okay. Which means because I've, I've had them before, yeah. So I couldn't actually sell them before. It must that's it must be a new. Thing yeah. That's I think I think every server maintenance they'll like see how much has been bought or sold and adjust prices accordingly, uh, modified yeah, by yeah. whether the town is uh, producer or consumer of the good. Ah, the French went over the horizon. Lost them. Looking around, looking around. Only that big British fleet we can't really deal with. No, we don't want that. <clears throat> ah, there we go. Spotted the French again. Follow me. Where have they got? They're on the horizon. Uh, Where have they got, though? Uh, Bell pool, a medium, and three small. Ah, oh, it's fine. Yeah. We'll be able to. It'll just be a little bit more of a, you know, an exercise. 
And they're further out of the water, or out of the harbor, which is <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's good for None us. None of us getting stuck in the shallows. Um, they're also trying to sail pretty much into the wind, I think. Nope, they're turning around. They're aimlessly wandering. Um, yeah, I think that the price is update on server maintenance. And, uh... So my plan is to sell all this pepper uh, when I eventually get it to Mortimer. To sell all this pepper at once, so it's all, you know, high price. Jesus, that'll flip the market, better. Yeah, so like the next day, pepper <laughs> will be worth the zero. <laughs> does Bell pull one medium too small, or does Bell pull who, one who medium three small? Who the East India Trading Company? Sorry, what? Who are you, the bloody East India Trading Company? Oh, yeah. <laughs> trying to move a whole we yeah, the supply and we'll go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to the slightly further one. They've got one fewer, oh, not one fewer ship. Okay. Otherwise, they're pretty much the same. I mean, they're British, not French, but still. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so they're not the bloody same. You may as well attack the French because they just surrender straight away. The British will put up a fight. It's the uh, U.S. who carried the most disabling shot to run away, right? That's that's what our history lesson tells us. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Up to twenty-five percent they of their shot. For. They're not they're not supposed to fight the British because they had more ships. <laughs> the French had the French had more ships. They're just goddamn cowards. No, that's so. That's the thing I find so fascinating about this period, like the differences between the French, Spanish, and British fleets. Um, I mean, the the British gunners were really good compared to everyone else, and the French knew it. Like, they knew that their gunners were just slower. Everyone knew it, and they didn't know how the Brits' gunners were so fast. I think that's fascinating. You're just playing full of rum. Probably for a rum that's full of, full of fighting juice, aren't Yeah, that, that and training, I no, suppose. They, 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 was. they just practiced. They just practiced more than the rest of anybody else. The French and the Spanish fleet pretty much never left harbor, and when they did, they were just sailing. They never actually fought much. Right. All right, Brezhnev is going to join us in a little bit. Um, I'm going to just keep this stream going. I've sort of hit the hour mark, which is usually where I would end it, but, you know, we've got plenty to do, so why not keep it up? Um, I'll let you get a little bit closer to this circle. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to cut some sail, try to run parallel to this little British fleet. Bell pulls a decent ship up. Yeah, I'm always surprised well, uh, by it. He shouldn't be any threat to us, but he bounces a lot of shots, doesn't he, the bell pull? Yeah. The, the name does not exactly inspire terror in me, but, you know. <laughs> it's one of those, like, how did you end up naming a ship that? Like, the indefatigable, I understand, right? Like, that's a, a very, yeah, like, yeah. solid name. Courageous. Yeah. <laughs> Constitution, all the, all the great. And the, names. there were there were some like solid French ship names, right? Temeraire, like those those are good names, but like yeah. Belle Poule. Uh, the ocean, the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good names, but. I like a lot of the Russian ship I think, names I too, think actually. What Belle Poule means? What? Do you what? Mean? Oh, it means pretty chicken. Oh, for course. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant just the actual name Bell Pools and stuff, but it's even worse translated. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. All right. You're pretty chicken. I'm going to uh, trigger the attack because they're starting to yeah, yeah. get yeah, okay, yeah. Some, a good wind. Yeah, I'm just behind you, so all flesh you can. Yeah, you'll be there in a moment. If not, I'll be 15 hours getting into your snore. But... Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> I might be uh, I think Ding. I'll be yeah. There we go. Oh, God, God damn it. Yeah, out of the circle? No, probably no. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Well, that leaves me outnumbered four to one, so thanks very much. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know what... Son of a bitch. All right. Um, they've got a bell pool, a mercury, a surprise, and a cutter. Um... The cutter is captained by Brigstock Groth, which is the best name I've ever encountered. You're going in? What's going on? Still loading? Alright. Oh, what the fuck? 
sorry. Sent me the bloody wrong area. Oh really? Yeah, there's two cycles, and one for Britain, one for um, pirates. <laughs> Usually, it's just the one in front that you go, but it's the one behind us now. Hmm. Sorry, man, that was my fault. That's okay. Awesome. You'll get in here soon enough. I'll be there, I'll be there in two seconds. Two yep. Seconds. It's not far. Never know something. They're mostly getting shots at a bad angle for me, so should be fine. Of course, getting to use is in the wind. Of course, you downwind. I couldn't. I couldn't have had the. I couldn't have had the British bloody sack, which would have been downwind. Started a fire, 31 crew hits. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good broadside. I'm okay with that one. Oh, actually, I should be alright because it's it's not directly in the wind, so I should be attacked a bit. Oh, there you are. Hey, you're okay. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. So sort of. Alfred Carroll is in surprise. And I am pouring lead into them. That went pretty well. My starboard broadside, I'm not having a chance to reload though. Well, actually, let's do it this way. I'm going to take everyone off of sailing and just load all the guns and then deal with. Alright, oh, just wasted some chain shot. Forgot that my stern chasers were loaded with chain. <laughs> that, that gun is still on fire. Oh, which one? The one to your right. Is it to your right? Somebody's on fire. Alfred yeah. Carroll? Don't see a fire on Carol. Um, oh, no, it's stopped. It's stopped. Somebody was smoking for a second, though. Yeah, there's been a fair bit of that. Was it? Who was it? Alright. Your eye just cuts. Cuts. He was smoking for a bit. Oh, uh, that's the Bell Pool. That's the flagship. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, yeah, so it is. He was smoking for a bit. Yeah, I started a good fire in. there. And 27 hull shots on the surprise. Next time we're at five, when you make sure we're together before we start fighting. Yeah, I thought you were a little bit closer than you were. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I thought I was. Uh, I thought I was in it as so, well. Uh, <sighs> next time. It's not your fault. I, I thought I was in it. Next time I fire my stern chasers, remind me that they have chain in them, because <laughs> I am being a <laughs> total wasteful idiot with that. There you go. Coming up behind the Mercury. I think you should make a good showing against that. The uh, Surprise is trying their best to angle directly into me. Maybe, maybe I'll reload. In time? No, I won't. That was an okay, tiny broadside. Yeah, chat's a little bit quieter today. I've had a more active stream chat before, but that's okay. I'm distracted with all of this hunting of NPCs, so. Ah, a little bit of stern. A little bit of stern right there. Did a little structural damage. Could be worse. Could be raining. Let's 
Let's get this turn in. And a lot of those shots are bouncing off, but it was an okay stern rake. Took out two cannons. Let's get some men back up into the rigging. Rotate around. Oh. Get our staysails back up. This is one of those, um, sort of pell-mell moments, right? So we're all just stuck in fighting as best we can. Did some damage to Coates' sails, and now I will do some damage to Coates. So we come up alongside. Was not the best. Not too concerned about the uh, ships we're dealing with, though. So the fact that reloads uh, take maybe the better part of a minute um, on a ship this size actually makes you really have to think about how and when you're engaging. Just kind of rushing in for the the melee isn't always the key. Sorry? Oh yeah, yeah sure. Oh, it's okay. I'm I'm turning as tightly as I can. You should be oh, fine. Okay. I'm trying to keep their ships in sight. You know that feeling when you mean to fire a ranging shot and instead you just fire a broadside? Yeah, that. Yeah. It's okay, most of it hit. Nice. By sheer luck. God's will. And that broadside mostly missed, so, you know, balances out. <laughs> God's fickle. <laughs> I'm gonna rely on skill instead. I think that's the, the goal, <laughs> right? You're a madman. <laughs> peppering me pretty okay. I have to reload both broadsides right now. Are you still doing alright? Oh yeah, yeah. Got plenty of armor. I'm not really concerned. And plenty of structure on top of that. Um, let's do a bit of tacking. Oh, okay, that chain shot went okay. I was worried I had a little bit of lag, so I was worried it was going to miss. But... Where's Groth? Groth's sails are pretty damaged, which is nice, because otherwise that cutter is going to be a real problem to get to. Any reasonable cutter would say, oh, I'm facing a ship of the line, how about I just go away? But, again, <laughs> the AI is... Uh, Guy's got massive nuts. I, I was going to say bloodthirsty and has no self-preservation instinct, but yeah, it comes to the same thing. <laughs> it, it, it's same translation, yeah. Different languages, same translation. Cool. 
and a broadside wasted. Alas. Let's get out of irons. That chain shot was useful. All right. Coming up on the surprise again. On its armored side, though, this time. <clears throat> Do what we can. That is a pretty good broadside. Even for its armored side, it's got pretty much nothing to show for it now. I'm gonna come back your way, just in the hopes of luring the AIs, since yeah, sure. that way we can get them into a nice little lump. How are you doing? You're dealing with the uh, bell pool? Yeah, good, good, yeah. I've got him, I've got him. Gonna try and take on this Mercury as I come by. Should still have enough time to reload after that. is a slightly smaller target than I expected. At least I started to fire on it. Looks like a reasonably equal fight between you and Coates right now. I think you're fine, yeah. Keeps turning, though, no, he won't. He just will not sit still. He won't accept his fit. <laughs> I mean, go down with the ship, right? That's. Exactly, that's yeah. That's ethos. He knows what's coming. I mean, you keep fighting. I understand that. It's honorable, but. There's no fun. You got a sure will, haven't you? Sorry? So you got a sure will, haven't you? Yeah. If you command the ship, you got to, you've got to at least pretend you're gonna win. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Just been taking pot shots at the uh, cutter. So I can... Well, that must be that must be hard work, huh? <laughs> it's <laughs> trying to hit a cutter and just triple land. It's uh, yeah, it's far away too. So this was kind of just a. <laughs> if I'm lucky, I'll cut its mast off. <laughs> ah, hit one crew. Nice. Yeah, that was a reasonable bit of fire on it, just in time to fail to get a broadside off on the uh, bell pool, like I should have been here doing, right? <laughs> Oh, man, I'm working him over, don't worry about it. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Look at this guy. Look at this little guy. The cutter? <laughs> God bless him. God bless him. I mean, yeah. It's doing pretty well. Reload shock, but, you know. So, you know what? I'm going to give him a broadside. Oh, I missed everything. <laughs> Absolutely everything. It's hard not to. God damn it. See? That's why he's so confident. He knows nobody can hit him. <laughs> Look at these guys. These guys are real. Trying to come around as fast as I can. Yeah. Bunch of jacks. That's what they are.
and the cutter decided it would be a great idea to sail directly into me. Yeah, Take a look at this. <laughs> I'm just driving it in front of me. By any reasonable metric. Oh, yep, and now Gerardus Coates is shooting his own cutter, trying to shoot me. Yeah. In any reasonable circumstance, I think that cutter would be capsized. Side, damage their rudder. And I'm gonna change my stern to actually be ball because I'm not used to putting chain in my stern. No, keep the stasis down. We need to both keep pace and reduce our heel. I'm so parallel with uh, the bell pool, I should probably convert to locked. One deck loaded. And they're pulling ahead. Staysel's up to get some speed, Staysel's down to get less heal. Two degrees heal, this is actually going to be kind of terrible, it's going to mostly go over them. I've almost done the surprise. Uh, I'm dealing with the, uh, oh, were you saying you're dealing with the surprise? Yeah, I've always done. Oh, good, good. I good. think he's the Joe's last legs. Yeah, he seems, you know, with the stop in the water, then, you know, yeah. done. Pretty much. Yeah, Taking on water, done. can't move so well. Yeah. Trying to finish well. Alright. Let's have a talk with this bell pool. I'm gonna leave that guy to sink. Come around you. I don't think he's got any fight left to do. Which one are you dealing with? Oh, the surprise. Uh, right. Yeah, but I'm coming around now to deal with the other guy. Yeah. In between you. Sounds good. I'm taking a little damage from the bell pool, because I did just kind of nose into it, but should be okay. Yeah, that guy's gone, yeah. Alright. So... For some reason, you, I got the credit you, for that one. You thank him, you son of a bitch. <laughs> How did you get that kill? I suppose he was probably done before I got to. Still. I feel like this is a recurring issue. <laughs> we'll just have to take it as we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Coates is not doing great. I think we've got him. Have a visitor. A very cute and fuzzy visitor. Nice little cat. Yeah, he's a, a big floppy cat who likes to sit in laps. Yeah. Of course, every YouTuber has a cat. It's just, it's. it's what you yeah, have. it's, it's uh, mandatory. It's, uh, I think, yeah, I think it's like a, a YouTube um, free verse going off. Like there we go. Laptop. 18 free hull hits and 3 just... leaks and 1 uh, nice. rudder hit. Nice. I think that's going to be it for the bell pool pretty soon. Done? Not yet. He's not out of structure, but like he's going to be having a hard time. do with reduced crew. Swing back around. Get my sails in order. One simplification that strikes me in this game is if you, uh, well, you don't have 
enough like fine-grained control over your sails, I guess, to do it. I was gonna say, if you're in a like three-masted square rig thing like this, I'm given to understand that you really want to uh, like uh, reduce the wind pressure on the mizzen and uh, main a bit before you tack. Um, and just generally, I mean, I guess you can't stress your masts by putting up too much sail and, like, you know, turning too tightly with them. So, I don't know. It's a lot more detailed than anything else I've dealt with, but has its simplifications, as everything must. All right. Here we go. Coming in with the bell pool. And I damaged their rudder again. Stern chasers at them. Do you want to take that bell pool? I'm going to move on to the. Uh, you sure? To the Mercury. Yeah, you're in a good I'll, position. I'll give it. him. A, I'll give him a broadside as I go past as well. That was not the most useful broadside. Making do through all this with a damaged pump. been too busy to repair it. Alright. Wow, that bell pool sitting low in the water. Yeah. <laughs> that bell pool does not have much hope. <laughs> and taken aback. Too close into the wind. Still not used to this whole ship of the line thing. Oh, I hope I didn't wing you with any of that broadside. Sorry. Sir? I hope I didn't wing you with any of that broadside. No, I hope I didn't hit you as well because I fight him. As... If you did, we're equal. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I think we're okay. I think we're okay. <laughs> I think we might survive. Yeah. The trick is that cutter. Yeah. Is it making way towards us? I guess it is. Yeah, we're probably. Do you want to run? Uh, I think we're. I think we're okay. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. I know it's very stressful, but you know. <laughs> Look, oh, where's he going? I could have given him a full broadside. Oh. What a douchebag. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? That's the Mercury. Coming around. Yeah. Oh. Shooting me. Oh, look. <laughs> For all of the Yeah, Of course. Alright. I'm gonna try and get out of this close haul. Turn the sails on. Actually, no, I'm just turning around. He's in the wind, he's struggling. Yeah, switch up to Even when you stop uh, uh, turning to ship the line like this, it takes a while oh, to stop oh. actually, you know, turning. Nah, nah, it hits just off the back gun. Well, it's not bad. Oh, 
And that was mostly sales hits. Great. The best thing is, though, I mean, he's going to sail around now, trying to get the best shot, and he's going to come straight into the broadside, so it's almost like it's almost better to wait for him. <laughs> yeah, I just need to... It's almost like, it's like he's out sailing us, just waiting for a broadside. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> now he's been clever this <laughs> Oh my goodness! The cutter is trying to shoot you from a distance with its like what hey, six hey, pounders? Hey. <laughs> Knock it off! Knock it Four off. pounders even? Like that thing's got? <laughs> would, they, would that even go for my sails? <laughs> Bounce off my sails, wouldn't it? It's giving me more cannonballs to fire back. <laughs> the ABC. All right. Speeding up as much as I can. I think the cutter... I hope the cutter's coming after me. Oh, their sails are at 38% after I fired a few broadsides through them. That's why they're going so slow. <laughs> they don't quite look that damaged, do they? I can't see. They're in a cloud of smoke. The sails look okay. Yeah. I wouldn't have guessed. All right, tacking time. I've lost uh, two cannons on my port side. No, uh, three cannons. So. I'm sure you can't say that you've got what fifty cents <laughs> on both sides. I think you'll be all right. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. But you no. know. Look at this thing. It's right in the wind. Uh, tacking, 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 and okay. Tacking the way you tack a big ship. And let's. See. He doing that, but there's no point. He fire on me, but what's the point? I can't believe that, like, you're there in your indefatigable, which is, like, relatively maneuverable compared to this, and you're the one trying to deal with the Mercury, and I, I in a ship of the line. <laughs> you're the one in the ship of the line. In a ship of the line, I'm <laughs> supposed to, uh... I know, it's this guy, this guy. <laughs> Yeah. He's offended my honor. He should shoot me in the back, and I will not have that. That's, that is no way to fight. Wasn't this a time of honor? This guy keeps shooting me in the back, and I will not have that. Either be a man, or get the hell out of here. Listening to the creaking noises that my ship makes as I try and turn it through the wind. We just like that. It just like that. All right, starting to make some noise. This guy keeps it. Yep. Ah, yes, have it. I mean, I've got, I've got his bridge now. No, I can't quite make out what's happening between you two. I just see you. So. I'm hitting him. I'm hitting him. I've got his bridge. He had me. He had me before, but not so much now. All right. Because he was, he was out turning me before, but now he's sort of, he's parallel to me, so he's, he's losing me. Yeah. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to move forward and maybe get this cutter in range of my guns. If the wind <laughs> stops being... I'll be, there, make you, I'll be there in two minutes, I'll just finish this guy. Yeah, well. Then we can both be completely in after hitting that guy. <laughs> have that, have that. One of those, some of that. And I'm still... Nope. The wind is still turning around in the direction I'm trying to turn. Everything's terrible. It's almost like this guy likes eating my heavy shots. Loves it. I've just got to get really, really out of the wind. Damn it. Ah, yes. Alright. 
Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna head up to you. This guy's just about done it. Now I get to move forward. Give him two from the ass cannons to go by. And I more or less have the range. The cutter is so small that most of my broadside just goes past it's it. It's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. I, was, I said the same thing, didn't I, with the Lynx? It's literally, it's a pain in the ass. Oh, yes! I took I took front of his ship off. <laughs> with that last shot. Yes. Yes. That's what you get, you son of a bitch. Make me work so hard for that. Maybe I can demast the cutter and then just, like... Yeah, you know what? It's probably your best bet, actually. No. So many cannons. No, it's coming around. It's coming around. It wants to be in my broadside. It thinks that's a oh, fun time. It to give it to him. Give it to him. But it can't move. So, oh, I see. It's missing its bowsprit and its jibs. That's why it sails at thirty-eight oh, percent. So I did partially demast it. Yeah, it's just operating on a, a square topsail and the uh, gaff. All right. Two seconds, man. Let's try locking and changing this. All right, that's a pretty okay broadside. Now let's try a little bit up. There we go. Finally. Need to angle down just a little bit for our weather deck guns. And the fact that the function keys and the things on the screen go in the opposite direction is very difficult for me. All right, and leave that to sink, and uh, I think that's about all of the stream for today. So, thank you for stopping by if you did, and catch you another time.